Walk into the world famous Imperial Barber Shop and you'll find it chock full of paintings, photographs and artifacts that pay homage to black history in San Diego and beyond. The shop sits in the heart of the recently designated Black Arts and Culture District in Encanto. We're wanting this community to actually grow and, and grow it means art is the foundation of most growth. Tau Baraka is the shop's owner, and the art isn't just inside. Its back parking lot features some of the district's largest art pieces to date. We actually have had artists come out here to paint certain arts about, you know, our expression of, uh, of where, where we're at mentally and culturally. So um, what you see right here is basically a, a whole thing of just different artists that come out from uh, southeast San Diego that's very, very talented. Art in the district comes in all shapes, sizes, and colors, says local artist Kim Phillips P. So I've painted a number of murals on this street and in surrounding communities. She was overjoyed when the district became official. I was crying, um, tears of joy, of course, and the reason why is just because we see in other communities, like you go to Chicano Park, you immediately know where you are. You feel the sense of culture, you feel the sense of pride, and so that is something that I've always felt we deserve and that we need. The new cultural district covers eight blocks along Imperial Avenue, including Marie Whitman Memorial Park. That same part of town once hosted summertime street fairs. Vendors from one end to the other, uh, headliner, you know, bands, um, and just everybody would come out here in this wonderful weather in America's favorite city and just enjoy each other. This park became the staple of that, and we want to bring that back. That's Dehan Blevins, CEO of the nonprofit arts organization Urban Warriors. He says San Diego used to be known as Harlem of the West, and he hopes it'll soon be that again. So if we don't do this on purpose, create an epicenter to where people can come in a common ground and see people who look like them, see hair that looks like this, hear music that speaks of us, you can kind of forget who you are. The Arts District is part of San Diego City Council District 4, represented by council member Monica Montgomery Stepp. We're talking about preserving history. This is the district that historically has housed the African-American community in San Diego. This is the district that experienced the redlining. You know, this is the district where we formed community. The designation means funding to improve storefronts, enhance landscaping, and support small Black-owned businesses, as well as adding freeway signage. Grant funding will be overseen by the San Diego African-American Museum of Fine Arts, which is forming an advisory council to get community input. Gaidi Finney is the museum's executive director. A lot of times when people come to San Diego, they wonder where the black community is. I mean, many people have that problem. So having an area that we designate and we develop gives us that designation for people to have, you know, be proud of the area. Finney says the district will launch a website for the advisory board in the next two weeks. Phillips P plans to provide her voice and vision for the district's evolution. A little bit of everything from storefront improvement, I'd like to see infrastructure changes as far as driving down Imperial, um, beautification when it comes to just the landscaping, trees, definitely more murals, but we just wanna see love poured into the area. Back at the world famous Imperial Barber Shop, Baraka says he's already starting to see the community's economic growth and is looking forward to the healing that this designation can bring. You have to have a culture to build a community or it will always be a hood, you know, so the cultural part of it has to come, whether it's art, whether it's uh, 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 sports, whether it has to be something there that people can grab a hold to. And I believe art is like the uh, universal message for bringing people together. Right now, art is bringing people together at Marie Whitman Memorial Park on the last weekend of each month, the park will be one of the first places in the district to see upgrades. Jacob Ayer, KPBS News.